morning to you. This is going to start your day on the bright side. We're talking about Legos. We've all played with them, but I'm pretty sure none of you have created something like you're about to see right now. It is called The Art of the Brick. Sean Stryker in downtown Tampa giving you the sneak peek. So what is that thing you're next to right now? What's that? Jackie, I found this for you. This oh. is a beautiful red dress made entirely out of Ooh. Legos. This is just one of the over 100 pieces of Lego artwork here at the Art of the Brick. Now, I want you to meet the man responsible for these awesome pieces of art, Nathan Sawaya. Nathan, thanks so much for joining me, for waking up with of us. Of course, morning. thanks for coming out. So it's my pleasure. We're standing by one of your most iconic pieces, yellow. I have to point that out. But for, I need to know, how do you go? You were a lawyer. Right. And right. now you create pieces of art out of Legos. How do you do that? How, how's that transition work? <laughs> well, I was practicing law uh, in New York City, and I would come home at night and need some sort of creative outlet. Sometimes I would draw, sometimes paint, and one day I just thought, what about this toy from my childhood? I started experimenting, and I've made a career of creating large-scale sculptures all out of Lego bricks. Now, I walked around this exhibit. It's amazing. So many different types of, I guess, pieces of art, so many different inspirations. How do you go about creating something <laughs> like yellow? Well, you know, inspiration comes from all sorts of places. I, uh, I have multiple exhibitions on tour, so I do get to travel quite a bit and use that as a resource for inspiration. And then when it comes to the actual building, it's weeks and weeks. A life-size sculpture is going to take me two to three weeks of building. And I, you glue each piece together, so it's, it's tedious work, I'm sure. Exactly. The Art of the Brick has visited almost 80 cities, so we have to travel with all these works. So I put a little bit of glue on each individual brick while I'm working to make sure these these works stay together yeah. when they travel. But it's a labor of love. You, you <laughs> love it now. You're much happier than you were when you were um, as, as, a as a lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> yeah, I like to say the worst day as an artist is better than the best day as a lawyer. Thank you so much Thanks for, for joining coming. us. This is amazing. Hey guys, you can come and check this out for yourself. It's all thanks to the Vinnick Family Foundation. They brought it to town. You can come out and see it for free. Check out this. This is a, uh, this is a T-Rex. So this is amazing. Wow. Completely out of Legos. Over 80,000 hey, pieces in this one. What's up? Sean, it's, it's your good pal, Rob Finnerty. Uh, Sean and I went to the Rays game yesterday, and Sean, the artist actually threw out the first pitch at the game yesterday. He did. You threw out the first pitch yesterday. So he's a good Rays athlete, game. too. And the ball was uh, a, a Lego, Lego baseball? Made of Legos. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Was it cool. really? Super yeah. cool. No. 